much, Mr. Tando from Family Martial Arts, and I'm going to do a quick video on uh, parts of the hand that you hit with, uh, just to follow on from the foot positioning one that I did. So uh, when I'm doing a, when we're punching, ideally you want to punch with the top two knuckles, um, index and middle finger knuckle, uh, as opposed to the, the bottom two. Uh, these ones are a bit more fragile and more more prone to breakage, um, whereas this one's these, these ones are pretty tough. They still can break, but they'll take more of a punishment than these two will. So I send it forwards, and I'm, I'm, as I'm doing it, I'm trying to push it forwards just a little bit. Okay, so here, boom, as, as it's going in. That way, these two knuckles are in alignment with my arm and radial bone, okay, and it, it makes my wrist a little bit stronger. If I, if I, I can, I can punch like this, I can punch like this, and I can have a flat fist as I do it. If I hit with a flat fist, um, it, it's it's pretty strong. My, my wrist is pretty strong when I hit. But the problem is, not that there's a problem, uh, this is a big surface area. So if I hit with a big surface area, it, it doesn't necessarily penetrate the target as much. Um, and the, the, the force is spread. So I want it to like be concentrated so I concentrate it in, in in a smaller area so in that way it should penetrate the target a little bit more be a bit more uncomfortable uh, if I need to use it on other people <laughs> all right so then uh, so that's my uh, my jab or my cross all right now if I also do it um, not not fully horizontal not vertical but in between two at a 45 degree angle um, because my hands naturally, if I move back, so you sit, when, when they hang and I, I lift them up, I don't lift them up like this because I'm actively engaging my muscles to, to, to twist them up. And when I do that, it, it twists the arm and radial bone. But if I just lift it up like that, and I go like that, it's at a 45 degree angle. So this is how I'd, my hand naturally works. Some people might work differently, but this is how I work. Now we're going to do hooks, still using the top two knuckles. I turn it, turn my palm, so my palm is facing the opponent, and then it just comes in, and I, it, these two knuckles hit on the target naturally. It just, just happens, boom. Now some people hook like this, and, and hook back, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you've got some really, like, like hand wraps, really strong gloves, or, or um, that protect your wrist as you hit, because it's very easy to, to twang, twang the wrist as you do it. No, no, you know, some people, get really, really good hooks like this. Uh, uh, it's completely up to them. Me personally, I'll turn it in like this, so it's at least two. Okay, so there's my hooks. Now I'm gonna do hammer fists. Now hammer fists are uh, slightly dodgy because uh, the pinky finger uh, along here is uh, very, well, I've broken mine. Um, it, it breaks reasonably easily, so, um, I'd suggest if you have, if you're not necessarily training it and conditioning the hammer fist, you hit with the the palm heel part of of your of your hand where it almost sort of hits your wrist. So there, it's a lot stronger. You can take a lot more of punishment. So instead of going for this, I try and go for this. Boom, uh, and it's less likely to have injury. Now, now I'm working onto the other side of the hand for bridge hands. Okay, so the ridge hand coming along the index finger, uh, I want to have my thumb sort of level with it, um, not out because I don't want it to take, take the impact, I want the whole part of this. So I send it out like a, almost like a jab and I twist it the last minute boom, as it goes in towards the target. Okay. Uh, Going Taekwondo wise, spear fingertip thrust are a little bit awkward because uh, if, if you're doing it as in like in a textbook and you're gonna go, I'm just gonna use my, gonna train my fingertips and gonna jab it in the, the opponent's chest, it's uh, not necessarily the, it's not the most practical way of doing it, uh, especially if a beginner's coming in and they wanna do uh, learn martial arts, you teach them spear fingertip thrust and they got to use it to defend themselves straight away, this ain't gonna work, right? But if you use the palm heel, use it slightly differently as it's coming across and it's a bit more like a ridge hand, then it's a bit more practical and you're less likely to hurt your fingers. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, let us know what, uh, what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.